Expanding to more theaters this week is the thriller Love Lies Bleeding, and here's my review. When making a movie where the central characters are largely unlikable and with few redeeming traits, how do you still make the audience invested in following their story? With Love Lies Bleeding, director Rose Glass successfully explores the darker elements of their personalities as she thrusts the audience into a world of bodybuilders. Each character feels fleshed out, and the story takes some interesting paths as it digs deeper into their decisions and how consumed they are by violence and how that drives them. Kristen Stewart has proven herself to be an actress with quite the screen presence, especially with the choices she has made post-Twilight. She appears to be largely uninterested in playing conventional roles, with even her performance as Princess Diana in Spencer providing its fair share of challenges. Her role as gym manager Luke continues that. She brings the needed ferocity to the role. Her scenes with Katie O'Brien as a bodybuilder she starts romantic relationship with work well in exploring both of them and the problems that arise. Jackie's descent becomes the most fascinating arc in the film, especially after the story takes a bloody turn. Meanwhile, Ed Harris is menacing as Lou's father, bringing a lot of anger to the role of a truly despicable person. Although anyone will have a hard time finding a likable person in this bunch, as all of them have some demons that push them to do horrible things. Jenna Malone's abused wife is the closest thing to a sympathetic person in this film, and even she has some significant flaws. The film does not take these characters through ordinary paths either, and builds intrigue in whether any of them will face some kind of comeuppance. Glass includes several surreal scenes throughout the movie, but they feel right with these characters, especially Jackie and her abuse of steroids. There is an audacity to several of the moments here, but they feel earned and don't come across like they're just odd for the sake of it. Rose Glass already proved herself as a director of a visual eye on her feature debut, St. Maud, and she takes advantage of the slightly bigger budget of Fort Her and Love Lies Bleeding to give us some truly striking scenes. And even though the movie is set in the 1980s, it's not something she calls attention to, mostly letting the fashions and other little details tell us the time period. Love Lies Bleeding absolutely will not be for everyone, as it's a violent and disturbing story with few characters an audience can latch onto. However, it's thanks to Rose Glass's assured direction, the wild storytelling choices made, and the committed performances from the actors that it comes together. Kristen Stewart has also proven herself an actress who continues to make daring choices in the roles she takes on, while Kitty O'Brien is someone of a lot of promise. There's always a place for challenging movies that step outside the norm, as long as they still have interesting stories to tell. And Love Lies Bleeding absolutely does.